They're growing and growing and growing. Amen. I want to pull out a little section of that song. There's not a place your mercy and grave won't find. Amen. Hallelujah. There's not a place. That God, your mercy and your grace, your grace won't find me. A place. We're going to talk about the place. Be done. That place, be done. Lord, we thank you for blessing us. We thank you for keeping us. We thank you for allowing us to stand behind your sacred desk to bring what you want to say to us today. Amen. We pray that you'll anoint our ears to hear, touch our heart, receive what you're saying to us. Let your words come forth with clarity and precision. In Jesus' name, amen. let us all say amen. amen. Tell somebody, be placed, be, placed. be done. Be done. Yeah. There's some spiritual places that God wants us to explore. Mm -hmm. In the natural, there are some places that you want to explore. Some of you have gone to Disney World. Some of you have gone to Great Adventure. Some of you have gone to the Twin Tower in New York City. And many other places that you have gone to. And even around the world, you explore some places. But there's a spiritual place called be done. Amen. I want you to look at your spiritual geography and see that place. A place called be done. There's a place called I can do all things through Christ. Amen. I can do it. But when you get to the place, tell somebody be done. Be done. That's what I want to talk to you about today. In Luke, Chapter 22, we start at verse 39. Jesus gave us an example. He said, he came out and went as he was wont to the Mount of Olives. Sometimes when you see a place, this place is called the Mount of Olives, but what is the symbolic meaning of the olive tree? I want to give that to you. The olive tree is symbolic of peace, Amen. prosperity, beauty, and relationship between God and his people. Amen. Let me repeat that. The olive tree, symbolic of peace, prosperity, beauty, and relationships between God and his people. So when you read this, he went to the Mount of Olives. He went into a spiritual place, a place of peace, a place of prosperity, a place of beauty, a place of relationship between God and his people. That's where Jesus went. Oh God, somebody help me praise God. Hallelujah. He went to the place and he said unto his disciples, Amen, that also follow him. And look at verse 40. And he was set at the place. And when he was at the place, he what he said unto them, pray. That you enter not into temptation. Glory to God. Is there anybody in that place right now? Mm. A place of peace, mm. prosperity, beauty, and a relationship between God and you. Is there anybody at that place right now? Jesus. If you are not at that place, that's where God wants to take you today. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Could God Almighty. When he was at the place, mm -hmm. he said unto them, 
pray that you enter not into temptation. I don't know if you ever pray that prayer. Say, so, Lord, keep me away from temptation. Keep me from falling into temptation. Temptation, one of them is also doubt. That's the devil tempt you to doubt. Lord, keep me from falling into doubt. Oh, yeah. I'm at your mouth. I'm at peace. Mm -hmm. Lord, I'm at a place of prosperity, but I, I want you to keep me from falling into doubt. Yes. And sometimes, if you're not careful, you can fall right into doubt. The enemy job is to tempt you. But it is your job not to fall into temptation. Amen. So the Lord told them to pray. Is there anybody praying today? Amen. Look at verse 42. Go to verse 42. Good God. Say, Father, if thou be willing, take this cup from me. Jesus' mother, in his earthly suit walking as a mere man on his way to be crucified say Lord if it is possible take this cup from me but nevertheless, nevertheless not my will but thine somebody shall be done be done, be done. that's the place where Jesus got to in spite of the pains that he was about to go through. Nevertheless, not my will but thine. Somebody shall be done. Yeah. In other words, I am ready, amen. I am at that place where I can say, Lord, let your will be done. Sometimes we skirt around God's will. And we try to accomplish it amen. some other way. Amen. But the message today, amen, is for each and every person to say, Lord, be done. Good God, God Almighty. Jesus told him to follow me. Follow me in that same anointing. Follow me to that place. I wonder how many times we turn back. Abraham went through that experience. You all remember him? When he went up to that mountain to sacrifice his son. I wonder how many of us would have turned back. I wonder how many of you that are listening to me turn back, amen, from going to that place called Be Done. Sometimes it is not an easy road. Yes, yes. Just like in the natural evangelist, amen, sometimes it's not an easy road. Sometimes we're going over some bumps. We're going over some hurdles. But we have to get to that place in our life when we can say, Lord, not my will, amen, but your will. Somebody shout, be done. Oh God, somebody have a shout, be done. Be done. Yes. That is a place where we want to get to on the spiritual geographical yes. Yes. map. Yes. Jesus. Be done. Good God Almighty. We have, we, we have to pass that stage Amen. of I don't think so. We have to pass that stage where we are procrastinating. Amen. We have to pass that stage and say, Lord, I want to get to the place. Jesus asked the Father, if it is possible, Lord, is there another route I can take? Is there another thing I could sacrifice? But Lord, I got to get to the place called be done. God is waiting for somebody today to just lift your hand and say, Lord, let your will be done. 
Look at this other scripture here in Psalms 52. Hallelujah. Look at verse 8 and 9. I am like a green olive tree. I word, underline that word olive tree. I gave you all the symbolic meaning of olive tree. Peace. Look around, but don't laugh at nobody. Don't smile, don't even. Do you see that person like a green olive tree? A tree of peace? I told you all that. You see, y'all don't listen. Some of you are laughing right now. Look at Sita Claudage. She's full of, she's full of laughter. But Apache guy, you're looking at somebody. Do you see that person as a green olive tree? A person of peace? That's where we got to get to, mother. In spite of all of the trials that you are facing in your life, you must be able to can testify and say, I am like a green olive tree. Good God of mine. I am at peace. Because sometimes you can be in the house of God, but your mind is not at peace. And because your mind is not at peace, and your mind is on other things, especially trials, amen, you cannot receive what God has for you. I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. Wow. I trust in the mercy of God. For how long? Ever and ever. Forever and ever. That means you arrive at that place called be done. Lord, I trust in your mercy. Not only today, but forever and ever. How many of you are there right now? Amen. That you're trusting in God's mercy. Yes. His kindness yes, towards you. Amen. Good God Almighty. I don't care what you're facing in your life. Tell somebody, trust God. Trust God. I'll tell him like you really mean it. This time, trust God. God knows exactly what he's doing. He knows what he's fixing for you. Good God Almighty. Amen. Minister Willis came earlier. She told us in that message. Amen. That God loved her. God loved you. No matter what you have done before. No matter what you're doing right now. No matter what you will do. God loves you. Tell somebody God loves you. She mentioned you were chosen in him before you were born. And because God chose you, no matter what people may say about you, God loves you. Hallelujah. Tell somebody with some power, God loves you. God loves you. And because he loves you, his mercy Endure it forever. Amen. So I trust, Evangelist, in the mercy of God forever and ever. Good God Almighty. Tell somebody, Amen. The place called be done. I trust in His mercy. Look at verse 9. I will do what? I will praise you for how long? Ever. Forever. Hallelujah. Good God Almighty. I will praise thee forever. Because what? Thou hast done it. Hallelujah. Fill in the blank right there. Hallelujah. I will praise thee forever because thou hast done it. Good God Almighty. Oh God, somebody showed God has done it. 
God has done it. It, it is done. It is done. Amen. Whatever you're facing, tell somebody it is done. Amen. While you are praying, tell somebody it is done. Hallelujah. No matter how hard it seems, tell somebody it is done. You are victorious. But Bishop, you don't know what I'm going to. I don't care what you're going to tell somebody. You are victorious. You are victorious. You are the head and not the tail. It is done. When those people are harassing you, they're harassing you because they want to get you off of your rhythm. They want to distract you. Good God Almighty. But you're in a place called it is done. Good God Almighty. It's already done. It's already done. Hallelujah. You, you, you're just waiting, amen, for it to manifest, but it is done, amen. God has made a sign on the dotted line, amen, that it is done, hallelujah. They may want to hinder you, but it is done. Sign, seal, and delivered. I just see some mails are coming in the mail tomorrow, this week. Somebody's praying for something. And sometimes, you see, sometimes at our house, the mailman come early sometime. By nine o'clock they're there. Amen. But sometimes they come late and you wonder. And some of you are looking in the mailbox for something. And you will be looking tomorrow for something. And you will be looking for the rest of the week. But tell somebody it is done. It is done. It is done. I don't care if that mailman want to take a long lunch. He better come and deliver it because it is done. I don't care if he call on sick. Amen. He better deliver it because it is done. Somebody shout it is done. I don't care man, if he want to hold it in his sack. I command that mailman to deliver it because it is done. Thank you, Jesus. Good God Almighty. It is, oh, tell somebody it is done. It is done. It is done. Mm. Sometimes God will send your answer to an angel. Somebody God will use to give you your answer. The very thing that you're praying for, God will put it in a song. He will put it in a message. He will put it in a handshake. He will deliver it by a telephone call. Oh God, somebody help me. God has so many ways to bring your deliverance to you. I will praise thee forever because thou has done it. Stop using, he will do it. And get into the place called, it is done. It is already done. That, that, that's where we live. The Bible says, weeping may what? Endure for night, but what? But I want to tell you right now, that the children of God don't have no more nights. We are living in the day. Go to the Bible. We are children of the night. We are children of the day. So we don't go to nights anymore. We are living in the day. God, somebody help me. Hallelujah. Amen. So we don't have to weep anymore. Amen. We don't have to go to the nights anymore because we are living in the day. We're children of light. That's the word. Children of the day. We don't walk in darkness anymore. No. You see, they have a physical darkness over there, but they got a spiritual darkness. That's what the Lord is talking about. We're not walking in spiritual darkness. Amen. I don't want you to think that night, the, the physical night is what I'm talking about. Amen. I'm talking about a spiritual night. We, we're no longer in darkness. Amen. We're walking in the light. Walk in the light. Beautiful light, shine with the dewdrops 
a mercy. Somebody help me. Shine bright. Shine all around us. Jesus. Jesus, the light of. That's where we live in, Sister Shelley. In the day. We're children of the night. No more walking in darkness, wondering what God is going to do. Because God has revealed unto us, amen, his will. I will praise thee for how long? Forever. Because thou hast done it. Thou has done it. Look at this prayer in Matthew chapter 6. Verse 9 to 10. The Lord gave us a pattern of prayer. This is just a pattern. He said, after this manner, pray ye. <laughs> Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Now look at this next verse. Mm -hmm. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come. Thy will. Somebody shall be done. In earth. As it is in heaven. Stay right there. Lord, your kingdom come. That's our prayer. That your authority, the same authority that you have in heaven, let it be done in this earth. No longer you should sing a song by and by and when we all get to heaven. What a day of rejoicing. That's how we spot. You can sing it. But also remember that even here on earth, amen, you can live a life of rejoicing. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Good God Almighty. Because what Jesus Christ did, amen, many years ago, he took you out of this world and he separated you so you can be a light of this world. And if you're going to be a light of this world, somebody must see you shining. Somebody must see you rejoicing. Somebody must see you excelling in life. Somebody must hear out of your mouth, amen, that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. God, I wish I was somebody today. Be done. That's a spiritual place that God wants all of his people to live. A place called be done. Mercy is there. Good God Almighty. Joy is there. Long suffering. Peace is there. Patience is there. You are like a green olive tree in the house of God. When people look at you, they will see peace in your life. When people look at you, they will see prosperity in your life. Amen. When they look at you, they will see the beauty of the relationship that you have with God. Amen. In your life. I don't know how many times I have to say this. But God don't want none of his children walking as if they are forsaken. It's in the book. He will never leave us, nor forsake us, even until the end of the age. Amen. It is in the book. Amen. Good God Almighty, the Lord, amen, keepeth you from all evil. Amen. And the Lord will preserve you. Amen. Good God Almighty. Is there anybody in the house want to be preserved amen. by God? Amen. He will keep you. I want you to just, just close your eyes just for a moment. Mm. And just see yourself. 
What kind of a picture do you see of yourself? And compare that picture that you are seeing of yourself to the picture that God has for you. How do God paint you? I see somebody saying, ah, Bishop, you don't know what I'm going through. And they're slumping over in there. If you join yourself right now, somebody's slumping over. Demonstrating rough times. But God wants to see you victorious. God wants to see you leaping and praising God. God wants to see you the head and not the tail. God wants to see you, amen, with that fist in the air, amen, shouting, you are victorious. I am triumphant. You can open your eyes. The children of Israel face some real strong tasks in their life. One of the biggest tasks in my book was when they were faced with a Red Sea. Right in front of them that could drown all of them. But Moses knew God. Mm -hmm. He remember God met him by the burning bush. Yes. He knew God. And he knows what God told him. God said, I'm going to send you down there to deliver my people. God will play some people in your life to bring you out. Amen. God, thank you. salvation of God. In that word salvation is wrapped up deliverance. Oh somebody help me call deliverance. Because God is going to deliver some people today. Amen. Stand still and see deliverance. See the salvation of the Lord. Because those Egyptians that you see today those enemies that you see today, you will see them no more forever. forever. Once you get into the place called be done, saints of God, your enemies will not be seen again forever. Good God Almighty. Because when God takes you over into the place, Mother, amen, it is peace. When God takes you to the place, it is prosperity. 
When God takes it into the place, you can kneel down and pray, and your relationship with God, amen, will be at a high. Some of you can't even pray at home because of disturbance. Oh, God. Some of you, amen, you can't even sing your song in your own house, amen, because of disturbance, amen. But God is about to fix it for you. Oh, God, I wish I had 10 people in the house. Amen. That can testify. Say, Lord, fix it for me. Fix it, fix it, fix it. The tendency, the tendency of humans is when God do a separation, we want to go and pull back and we attach ourselves yes. to what God separated us from. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Yes. Oh, Bishop, you can say that because, yes, I could say it because, because some of you, on the sound of my voice, God is pulling, God is separating, but you are fighting God. Because you don't want to be separated from. And because you're fighting God so much, God cannot get the full potential out of you of what he has created you to be. Good God. Allow God, God is saying to tell, tell you today, allow God to cut those branches and fruitful branches off. Amen. Well, that is my that is my soul. That is my soul. God, thank you. I don't want to get into somebody's. But God is saying to you, my sisters, my brothers, let God do what he's doing. Amen. Amen. Because as long as you remain attached, you can never fulfill your purpose that God has for you here on this earth. Jesus went away and he told the disciples, follow me. But he told them to stay over there because I got to go into a place right now. Good God Almighty, a place called Be Done. Disciples, you cannot come into the place yet because you're not ready for this. Saints of God, some people are not ready for where God is taking you. Amen. Oh God, separate yourself and get into the place. And when you get there, amen, you can reach back and tell them what to do. That's what Jesus Christ did to his disciples. He went there. Hallelujah. And he said, be done. Be done. Amen. I don't want, amen, my will, Father, but let your will, somebody shall be done. Be done. It is not about my feeling, amen, somebody shall be done. Be done. It is not about the pain that I have to feel, somebody shall be done. Be done. Hallelujah. God, thank you. And when he demonstrated that right in the presence of of his disciples, they went out there, says the Claudet. And when they went out there and they began to preach in Jesus' name, Amen. and they threatened them, and they said, We are going to lock you up if you call his name again. Amen. And those disciples said, Be done. Yeah. Because we want to tell you the Sanhedrin, amen. We want to tell the governors, amen, that amen, that we rather to obey God rather than man, amen. And if that's our consequence, let it be done. Glory to God. Amen. God, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I wish somebody will take another step. Because some of you are very close. To that landmark called be done. He said, We rather to obey God rather than man. 
good God Almighty. I got a big box shot back again out of out of history. Yes. You remember King? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And he said, if you don't bow down and worship our God that we build, we're going to cast you into that fiery furnace. And we're going to heat it up seven times hotter. Because if you don't bow down, you are facing certain death. And those Hebrew boys said, be it known unto you, O king, if you put us in, our God is able to deliver us. Hallelujah! Glory to God. Somebody shall be done. Be done. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. If you put us in, our God is able to deliver us. But if not, if we don't put us in, we want you to know that we will not serve your God. Oh, somebody shall be done. Be done, be done, be done. Hallelujah. They cast them in. And they said, close up the door. And the ones of God around the door. Close it up. Somebody shall be done. God, thank you. And when they thought that by this time, they should be toast. That's what the young people said. Where's Peyton? Peyton? That's what you said, a toast, right? I get it from Peyton, toast. When the tall they should be toast. They said, open the door. And when they looked inside, mother, they saw Shadrach over there. Meshach. And a bendigo. Who is that other one over there? He looked like the son of man. He looked like the son of God. Somebody call his name for me. Jesus. That's his name. Yeah, amen. Uh, somebody should be done. Yeah. The same Lord that paid a price for you. The same Lord that told in his word. That his mercy is forever and ever. So even though you're going through your test right now, always remember his mercy is forever and ever. His kindness is forever and ever. I will trust in the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And with that in your mind, you can shout, Be done! Because I know in whom I have believed. And our God is able to do exceeding abundantly above all you can ask or even imagine. So with that in mind, you face no test whatsoever. Lord, as we pray today, be done. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven, Father, there is no defeat. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, in heaven there is peace. That even when the world down here is in turmoil, we are at peace. Because we are resting in the arms of the Prince of Peace. He will give you peace, Evangelist. In the midst of the storm, he'll give you peace. Storm clouds are raging. And the billows roll. But he will keep you safe in the eye of the storm. No matter.